You can't discuss Minecraft nostalgia without talking about old iconic seeds, or the algorithmic code that drives Minecraft's terrain generation, which is unique to every world. Almost every major Minecraft update has either changed the terrain generation system entirely like we saw from beta 1.7.3 to beta 1.8, or added a new biome, structure, or something that changes the terrain generator in a major way. This effectively erases the old seeds from the previous version. And so today, we're going to enter the time machine and look at some of the most famous iconic seeds ever found in Minecraft's history. We'll start with the trifecta of the most famous seeds ever found, the three you've probably heard of at least once. Let's start with arguably the most famous beta seed of all time, Gargamel. No, not you. At the time, the Gargamel seed spawned you into one of the most incredible worlds you could possibly get in beta. It was unique right from the start as it spawned you inside a cave on the cliffside, which was mind-boggling for the time. When you get out of the spawn cave, you're met with an insane mountain area with a huge valley in the middle. There are so many interesting spots to build and so many starting materials to start your first day with. And when this was discovered, Gargamel spread like wildfire around different forums and other communities and became beloved and famous ever since. Unfortunately though, when Beta 1.8 aka the Adventure Update rolled around, the terrain generator had a major overhaul, and Gargamel was changed to this. And thus, the seed was made obsolete unless you continued to play your previous world that was using it in Beta 1.8. It was left behind as a mere fond memory for many. The next most popular beta seed was Glacier. Glacier was pretty similar to Gargamel with its huge mountains and cliff faces right at the spawn. Not only that, but it featured huge overhangs and massive floating islands. It was so popular that lead developer Jeb actually tweeted about it in 2011, giving credit to the original founder. Now don't get me wrong, I do love the terrain generation in Minecraft today especially post 1.18 with the new crazy mountains and extreme hills. But something felt so special about finding a seed like Glacier back in the day, even after taking off my nostalgia tinted glasses, it's still fun to explore the old beta terrain. You never really knew what you were gonna stumble upon. Glacier also stopped working when beta 1.8 came around. In fact, it really became a shell of what it was with nothing super notable around. If you played Glacier back in the day, let me know in the comments, and let me know if you built something amazing in these mountains. This wouldn't be a famous seed list video without the 404 challenge. Putting 404 as the seed pre-beta 1.8 spawned you on this beach area with a huge amount of gravel nearby. Punching some of the gravel away makes it all fall and reveals a massive cave system like one of the biggest naturally generated cave systems I've ever seen in beta. The guy who first discovered the seed probably was so surprised and scared when all that gravel fell all of a sudden. Anyway, the quote unquote 404 challenge was simple yet difficult. Someone thought it would be fun to gather as many materials above ground on the very first day, and then live the rest of the time you played the world underground in the cave system under the gravel, never being allowed to resurface again. Let me reiterate, someone thought this would be fun. No, but really, it was one of the OG Minecraft challenges predating things like Skyblock and Survival Island when it was discovered. However, unfortunately, like the first two seeds, Beta 1.8 ruined the 404 challenge forever. But you can, of course, go back and play it at any time in the older versions. It's also been recreated hundreds of times for newer versions of Minecraft. I'll link some of those in the description below. The 404 challenge will forever live as one of the most difficult vanilla Minecraft challenges ever conceived. Number four is four. Yes, just four. Four is four. Four for four. The fourth seed on this list is four. Okay, I'm done. Putting just four as the seed in the early Minecraft release days, right around Minecraft official version 1.5, spawned you on an island that doesn't seem super interesting at first. But well, turn west and you'll see you spawn right next to the rare Mushroom Island biome. Like, it's right there off of spawn, which is super cool. Also, the island was perfect for starting a base and has enough materials and cave systems to give you a great head start in your survival world. Perhaps the coolest and most memorable part 
of 4 though is heading to the nearest stronghold, which is only a few hundred blocks away from spawn. The stronghold is exposed in a cave system, making it super easy to find, but it also shares the cave with a large abandoned mineshaft. Also super nearby is a skeleton spawner. So the three most interesting things to find in caves at the time are not only in the same cave system, but share the same spawn chunk. So while 4 maybe isn't the most famous or memorable on this list, I have seen it discussed quite a bit over the years, and for good reason, in my opinion. Another early official release famous seed was Raccoon City, working around version 1.2 and 1.3-ish. Similar to 4, it spawned you on an island in the middle of a large ocean, but this time it was a large jungle-only island. There's also a really nice lake on one side, which in my opinion is one of the best lake spawns I've ever seen in my 13 years of playing Minecraft. It just looks so natural and pretty. Anyway, it's no secret that jungles are one of the hardest, most annoying biomes to traverse and modify in Minecraft even today, so this one was a challenge in that way. It also was fun to eventually turn the jungle into a large base and completely transform the island. Lastly, if you headed southwest through the ocean, you find a mushroom island super close by. If you headed north, you would find a really weirdly generated tundra in the middle of a desert. God, I loved the old wacky generation. When Minecraft villages were released, people were racing to find seeds with villages right near the spawn. And you can't discuss old famous village seeds without mentioning Gimme a Break. Gimme a Break only works for a tiny window of updates, from beta 1.8 to official release 1.1. It spawns you inside of a decently good sized old style village with a blacksmith chest and everything. It also features some pretty epic mountains as the backdrop. So while villagers were essentially useless back then, finding a village was still a rare and new experience, and literally being able to spawn in one was definitely memorable. However, when jungle biomes were introduced into the game in version 1.2.1, seeds were reset once again, and Gimme a Break's short reign was over. As sad as it is to talk about and play these seeds after they got changed, you have to remember that when all these famous seeds get deleted, new ones quickly get discovered and the magic of finding cool seeds returns. If you're enjoying the seed nostalgia so far, let me know and subscribe for a potentially endless Minecraft experience. It means a lot to me. Thank you. The next two seeds go out to all my Pocket Edition homies out there. I had to include these on the list because they are crazy nostalgic for a vast amount of people, but also really cool for the time. Let's start with the seed 0.4.0. Using 0.4.0 as the seed for Pocket Edition version 0.4.0 became an instant classic. Not only because the seed shared the version number, which is funny, but it kind of became the forefront of Pocket Edition seeds. But why is it so special? Well, the OGs call it the instant diamond seed because if you dig down right at spawn, you hit a ton of iron, which you then can make an iron pickaxe out of and then towards the bedrock, there's a vein of six diamonds. It offered an amazing start and was probably just some kid thinking they were clever typing in the version as the seed. Or as I like to think, a complete accident thinking they had to type in the version in that prompt or something, which would be unbelievably hilarious. Anyway, unfortunately, I don't have a way to play Pocket Edition for the video, hence all these screenshots. But if you can access old Pocket Edition versions, definitely hit this stop on your nostalgia train. I originally wanted to only include one Pocket Edition seed on this list, but I had to include this next one, and couldn't just pick one of the two considering how iconic they are. Let's talk about Nyan. 2011 meme sensation turned Minecraft seed Nyan was special for Pocket Edition simply because it contained a lot of lava. It's something we take for granted today that wasn't always like that. Back in the infant days of Pocket Edition, worlds were finite, kind of like InDev or Minecraft Classic. So lava spawns in Pocket Edition seeds were incredibly rare, let alone to this caliber. Nyan also featured the epitome of early game biome generation with its vast and weird mountains and some cool spots to build. 
What you're seeing on screen is a Java recreation of the original seed, and I've left the download link to this one in the description below. While it's not my personal cup of nostalgic tea, as I didn't get to experience Nyan in its heyday or play Pocket Edition really at all, I have to tip my metaphorical fedora to my Pocket Edition folks. Back to Java Edition, the next seed on the list is Artomix. First popularized for Minecraft release 1.3 by the absolute legend Chimney Swift 11, Artomix is similar to Raccoon City from earlier, featuring a large jungle island with a few smaller islands around it. What makes it stand out is obviously the fact that it literally looks like something out of insert generic tropical island vacation spot name here. <laughs> It basically is a jungle on an extreme hill on an island. Hawaii called, they want their island back. Anyway, this seed spread like wildfire from there as it offered yet another unique island survival experience in Minecraft. Which, now that I'm going through this list, I'm kind of realizing that the steps for a seed to make it to a list like this is 1. Have crazy mountains, or 2. Be an island, or 3. See 1 and 2. Artemix is 3. Man, we really are easily amused, aren't we? I saved the best for last. Worst seed ever. Heh. <laughs> See why I said best for last? Anyone? Please God help me. No, really, the seed worst seed ever is actually the best, because like all of the best things, it started as a joke. I remember reading that the original person who found this seed put that in the prompt as a joke while in an Xbox 360 party call with friends, and it ended up becoming the most famous Xbox 360 edition seed of all time. We love ourselves a good poetic story. So why was Worst Seed Ever actually the best? Well, besides having some surface exposed coal and iron literally within a dozen blocks of the spawn point, it has a literal monster spawner, or dungeon, above ground right at spawn. On. There's sand that collapsed and exposed it. The chest loot is pretty good too, and this is back when the Xbox 360 and PC seeds were identical, pre-Minecraft Bedrock. So you could also access worst seed ever on PC from beta 1.3 to beta 1.7.3 before it was removed again in beta 1.8's terrain generator overhaul. Worst seed ever, ironically, will forever go down as one of the best, most legendary seeds in Minecraft history. And well, there you have it. Despite being lost to time in major Minecraft updates, these seeds live on forever in our memories. Let me know if I missed any of your favorite old Minecraft seeds in the comments below. If you thought this list was pretty cool, leave a like and subscribe if you're brand new for more stuff just like this. I love you all so, so very much, and I'll see you in the next one.